Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel to another episode of New State Mobile. The week 3 missions of the Survivor Pass Volume 6 are live and in this video we will do a full breakdown of the normal missions and I will show you where you can find the objectives of the storyline missions of Marion. So if you are curious about all these things and the background story, just stay tuned and watch this video until the end. Thank you guys for being here again, really appreciate it. If someone else is new here, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for free to my channel. There we go. Yeah, the last two weeks we have had some teasers maybe about the upcoming map. Hopefully we have some today as well. Starting with the weekly missions, the normal one, you need to kill 15 players with a shotgun, reach the top 10 three times, revive a knocked out teammate three times and squad recruit an enemy that might be one of the harder ones and play one match in arena deathmatch match. That is all right and we nearly are at level 50, yeah, one level to go and we could nearly get it via the dailies and the play time. Now let's have a look at the weekly storyline missions of Marion. The first one is called Pulling the Strings. Obtain five we find circamorphine capsules from warehouses around Troy. And I've already read the, uh, the, the story behind and it's quite nice. It was clear that there was a great unknown force behind all this. As energy drink containing stimulants had spread widely among the city's citizens of Troy after the night. So this is a reference to the uh, Bella missions um, where we have had the um, energy drinks as well. It was the same energy drink found in the equipment that the hunters had left behind. The only difference was that their drink contained a much higher dosage of stimulants. Alright, we need to find five Zika morphines, refined Zika morphines from Troy. So let's jump into the first round and see where we can find it. I uh, guess we are going towards uh, Bay Area as this city is mentioned there. So we are on the way down towards the warehouses, which are at the top right position at the Bay Area. And hopefully we can find the five refined Seeker Morphines here. Ooh, there is already the first one. Hell, that was, that was, that was fast. So that is the items we need to search. Number one, not sure if there are some further ones. Let's grab a gun just for the case there is an enemy here. Hey, there is even another one. Nice, 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 nice. There's even another one. But that's three in the first building. That was fast. This bot is going crazy. What the hell? In the next building, there is number four. Perfect. And even number five. Hey, that was an easy one. One of the fastest. So that's the first mission. Let's get back to the lobby. Let me show you what we need to search as next. The second mission is called Gun Missing. Sam Barry, the survivor, was praised as a hero after the night of the slaughter, which is a referring uh, to the Hunter's faction. But recently he kept disappearing for days at a time and the number of days he was gone was increasing each time. People started to worry, but some, uh, but soon their anxious, anxiousness Oh, turned to anger. More and more people were turning their back against him. There were also some who believed that Sam was kidnapped and sent abroad. That could be a reference to an upcoming map and that there was some great conspiracy behind all this. We need to obtain five damaged Troy police posters from around Troy and yeah, Chester is mentioned here. Let's jump into the game and see where we can find the second mission objective. So we are still at uh, Bay Area and here is the first of the second mission protection. Sam Barry ran away and that is the police picture uh, or the damaged Troy police poster. We need to find five as well and the first one was right here at this garage of this building. I'm not sure at which buildings they will be, but we will find it out. There is number two. This took a little bit longer. So at this little building where we can even find one of the previous posters, that is number two. We need five in total and I will let you know where the other ones are at. There is number three. Oh, that was hidden. 
And number four. Okay, that's a different building. But interesting. There's the last one. Perfect. So that's another mission we have completed. The third mission is called Death Rumors. People suspected that Sam Barry had died somewhere. There was also evidence supporting this rumor. Someone said that they saw his death certificate. Another said that they saw him die in a clip from some CCTV footage. His closest friends Bella, Ben and Doug were worried as well. They had no idea about his whereabouts either. Where could he be? Oh, that is interesting. CCTV footage. Maybe we see something in the next trailers that he had he dies, but I don't think so. He will strike back somehow. Find a death certificate from around Troy's lab area. And Troy's lab area, that is right again to Phonic. So let's get there and let's see where we can find it. And for the last mission, we are here at the lab where we need to find the death certificate of uh, Samberry. Let's have a look. It's a single item, so I guess it will respawn even if someone was maybe here already. And I think I've seen it. Yep, there it is. There is the death certificate. Oh, and the bullet straight in the head. So that's the last mission of week three. Let's jump back to the lobby and see. And co um, how we did and collect the rewards. Back at the lobby, this has been it. We have done all the three missions. They are not that hard, but for the second one, maybe I would recommend to either go to another position. It was quite hard to find these things at Bay Area, but there were in uh, total six of the posters, so still quite easy. But if there are some enemies, you might need to go to another city. So that's it for the weekly missions. Let's receive them all and see what we are getting as we are reaching level 51. And there it is. We received the level 50 outfit. Which looks pretty, pretty cool. Inventory. And we did another achievement. Yeah, we did it to level uh, 50 another time. So this is the vehicle which we unlocked during the week. Looks pretty nice as well. And for sure, here is the outfit, which looks super cool, in my opinion. And there we go. It's the sixth survivor pass, and we completed level 56 times. So that's it about today's video. Thank you guys that you have tuned in. Really appreciate it. And yeah, hopefully you will watch the missions of next week. And we will see us then.